Alright, yo, we moving on to the Maya 5. Now, this here is your Maya 5. And it has a dark part and a light part. The dark part is called the A band, anisotropic. And the light part is called the I band, isotropic. In the middle of the A band, there's an H zone because it's lighter. And in the middle of the H zone, there's an M line. In the middle of the I band, you'll find a Z disc. And from one Z disc to the next, you have what's called a sarcomere. Don't forget, the sarcomere is the basic contractile unit. During rest, the sarcomere has a length of 2.5 microns. But during contraction, as you can see here, the sarcomere has a length of 1.5 microns. When contraction occurs, the eye band shrinks because the sarcomere shrinks. The myofibril is made up of thick and thin filaments. First off, the thick filament, which is made up of myosin, has two globular heads. These globular heads have two main important functions, right? The first is that they have an actin binding site where myosin comes in contact with actin. The second is they have an ATPase site, which is catalytic, meaning it hydrolyzes or breaks down ATP. The thin filament is made up of three things, right? The first is actin, the second is tropomyosin, and the third is troponin. Actin is made of two chains, which make a double helix. As you can see in the pink here, there's a double helix formed here. Now, Tropomyosin is a long filament which rests between these two chains. And troponin is a small globular molecule which occurs at regular intervals on tropomyosin. Troponin is made of three parts. The first is troponin T, which binds other troponin parts to tropomyosin. The second is troponin I, which inhibits myosin actin interaction. And the third is troponin C, which contains the calcium binding site. Titan is a muscle protein which binds the Z lines to the M lines. Similarly, actinin is a muscle protein which binds the Z line to actin. And desmin is another muscle protein which binds the Z lines to the cell membrane.